Prime Minister Netanyahu landed in India for a historic diplomatic mission only yesterday, but already he's building tons of new bridges with Indian leaders, businesses, and more, beginning what the Prime Minister promises will be a new era of friendship between the two countries. This is a, a dawn of a new era in the great friendship between India and Israel. It began with Prime Minister Modi's historic visit to Israel, which uh, created tremendous enthusiasm. It continues with my visit here, which I must say is deeply moving for my wife and me and for the entire people of Israel. And I think it heralds a flourishing of our partnership to bring prosperity uh, and peace and progress for both our peoples. Accompanied by the largest ever delegation of Israeli leaders in business, agriculture, security and high tech, this mission is already a massive success. Cooperation on everything from science to film promises a win-win situation for both parties, despite the fact that certain political obstacles still remain. For example, though he was there to warmly embrace Netanyahu upon arrival, Indian Prime Minister Modi actually decided to vote against Israel at the United Nations just last month, joining the vast majority of countries that condemned United States President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Though Netanyahu says he's disappointed by India's vote, the, successor of the, trip, the success of the trip so far proves that progress isn't always a straight line. Then, despite being away from home, the Prime Minister's thoughts inevitably turned back to Israel to, com to commend the army for demolishing a third terror tunnel in as many months. <laughs> שחיסלתם עוד מנהרה, אנחנו מחסלים באופן שיטתי את תשתית המנהרות של החמאס ושל הג'יהאד האסלאמי, שלא יתעסקו איתנו. The Army's Southern Command is conducting a survey of the demolition site as we speak, and new Israeli military tech is rumored to be detecting and demolishing these tunnels at record speed. India actually canceled a massive half-billion dollar military deal with Israel just before Netanyahu's flight, but with results like these, who knows? Netanyahu may just convince Indian leaders to change their minds.